Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Faber Adiboa. If it's your first time, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here today. Yay! And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. I believe that content from this channel has been blessing you. I will continue to bless you. Um, before we continue, let's just say a word of prayer. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word to us today. I ask, Father God, that you will teach us, help us to apply what you teach us, and help us to be your ambassadors. Thank you for all that you are, my daddy God. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Amen. So today we're talking about identity as the first step to winning the war in your mind. Identity. If you don't know who you are, the enemy will whip you at every battle. Hallelujah. Whatever happens in our lives happens, first of all, from within us, right? So people don't just wake up and commit murders. They have thought about it. They have, except it was a mystic, yeah, manslaughter. But murder, murder, most people who are in prison today, they thought about it, concocted it, you know, and really planned it. So whatever happens, happens, first of all, from inside. No one that to Paul said, the Lord Jesus Christ, whose I am and before whom I stand. Hallelujah. So... God wants us, first of all, to know who we are. The problem I find is that many people are, say they are Christians, but they don't even know who they are. And if you don't know who you are, you will mess up. You will mess up badly, right? And it's not God's intention that we come into the faith and mess up. God's intention for us is that we come into the faith and we stand till the end, right? God not save people so that people can fall away, no. But the problem is that we don't know who we are. All of us, we have battles in our hearts, in our minds, right? Um... Somebody said, I think it was Ken Hagen that said that um, you can, a bird can fly over, you can't stop a bird from flying over your head, but you can stop that bird from pooping on your head. And that's the same thing. When this world, we live on this earth, this earth is a very dark place, right? We are light, but then there are evil spirits that share this earth with us, sadly, and they sometimes throw dart at us. But we need to know we, who we are so that we have things to fight back right the word of truth we need the sword of the spirit in us hallelujah so what is your identity identity refers to the distinctive characteristics and traits that define an individual shaping their sense of self one it encompasses various aspects such as personal beliefs personal values beliefs your cultural background roles and experiences contributing to a person's unique experience right and evolving sense of who they are Identity is not necessarily static. It evolves through life experiences, relationships, and self-reflection. It plays a crucial role in saving an individual's perceptions, choices, and interactions with the world. The synonym for identity is individuality. God wants us. Our identity needs to stem from God. If your identity doesn't stem, you see, there's a lot of confusion in the world. People don't even know who they are again. They don't know. They say now there are, there's 72 genders, I think. They don't know who they are. People are. There's confusion everywhere. People don't know who they are. People don't know what they are doing. People don't stand for anything. Hence the craze with Stanley Cups in the US right now. People are not able to make their choices themselves, right? Some people say that human beings are cattle. I don't, I don't, I, of course, I don't think human beings are cattle because God made us, right? We are precious. God made us. Um, he took time to create man. However, my point is that many people don't know who they are. They don't know what they are doing. They're just following the crowd. God hasn't called us to people who follow to be people who follow the crowd. God has called us to be people who follow King Jesus, our King. Hallelujah. First of all, we need to know who we are. We need to know our identity. When you know who you are, you even though you'll be tempted to do certain things, you know that ah, I am righteousness. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And I cannot do this because doing this will soil who I am. Doing this, it does not. How can I? A whole righteousness, a whole righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, be doing this type of trash. Hallelujah. Your identity is what shapes your perception, the way you see the world. It is your. If you think this world is so awesome, this earth is. You want to live forever. <laughs> it's because you don't know who you are. You don't know that there's something better for you in eternity when you leave this planet. Your perceptions, if you don't know who you are, you'll be scared to die. Because you don't know that when you leave your body, this body, you are going to see the one who loved you and gave himself for you. Because you don't know who you are. If you know who you are, your choices will be different. You will be choosing this thing I want to see. How does it please the one who lives inside of me? This thing I want to see. 
how does it please the one who lives inside of me this thing i'm hearing they are making crude jokes sexual jokes around you left right and center how does it please the one that lives in me we need to know who we are hallelujah you don't know who you are that's why you're still sleeping in boyfriend's house and yet you are fasting left right and center so that he can marry you it's because you don't know who you are you know you, if you know who you are there are some choices you will not make i want to encourage you today if you are angry i'm sorry this video is not to make you angry but it's to make you it's to make you think that really who am i you are living in this body you don't know who you are you are on this earth you're just living your life you don't know who you are hallelujah we need to know who we are we need to know what we are standing for the only place to get that it is from god's word bible says we are christ we belong to christ galatians 3 27 29 for as many as you were baptized into christ have put on christ so you are one that is walking around with christ on you in you and your new there is neither jew nor greek there is neither slave nor free there's neither male or female for you are all one in christ jesus and if you are christ then you are abraham's seed and you are heirs according to the promise hallelujah this is blessing you put your favorite emoji in the comments for me it encourages me hmm, to do what god has asked me to do hallelujah so you are christ you belong to christ you are abraham's seed and you are here you are an heir according to the promise what is the promise in blessing i will bless you in multiplication i will multiply you. the promise god gave to abraham you are also an heir of the promise you belong to christ first corinthians 6 17 says you are he who is joined to the lord is one spirit with the lord you are one spirit with the lord jesus said the scripture says that we are gods you are a god on this earth but you don't know who you are that's why you're dressing anyhow all your breast is outside because you don't know you think you're normal you are not like everybody else you are different you are special yes i said it you are special you are a chosen generation you're a royal priesthood we don't know who we are that's why we get anxious satan throws anxiety on us we collect it because you don't know who you are they throw fear on you you collect it because you don't know who you are <laughs> you are born of god that's what scripture says god almighty you are born of god god oh my hey you don't it's like you're not getting it god almighty you are his child the, a child of god that's why you're collecting bribe because you don't know who you are because if you know who you are you will know that god almighty will take care of you you don't know who you are i'm also talking to myself by the way so this is an encouragement I'm trying to get you to that place to go and learn who you are. Go and learn your identity, identity. Because when you know your identity, then you're able to stand. And no matter how difficult it gets, even if it gets super difficult, you don't even know, you will stand. Because having done all to stand, you will stand because you're a child of God. Jesus said we will have difficulty. He said we would have tribulation, but he has overcome. You are a holy nation. That's what the Bible calls you. God calls you holy. Hallelujah. He says to be perfect because he is perfect. We are getting there. Hallelujah. See, I'm getting there. So the first step to winning, I know on this channel I talk a lot about mental health, anxiety, you know, depression and intrusive thoughts and the rest of them. However, the first step to dealing with those things is to knowing who you are, is to know who you are. Sorry. Know who you are. Know who you are. Know who you are. Know who God calls you. He says you are chosen. You are loved. He says you are beloved. <laughs> he says you are beloved. You are loved. God loves you. Eh? So that guy left you. Is that why you want to die? God loves you. Think about it. I know it's easy to say. I know you can. You might think that, oh, David, it's easy to say. You're just those things you're just saying them but it's the word of god i'm not the one that is saying it i'm telling you what god's word says and god's word is truth his word is truth god cannot lie if there is a problem it is from us it is not from god god is not a man that you should lie so you need to know who you are basically go and learn who you are go and learn your genealogy see you're not from I don't you are not from that that village no 
and they say so um singleness uh, you want to get married but they say people in your family you don't get married you're not from there you are from, you are christ you are joined with christ you have come to mount zion hebrews talk about talks about it you are not from this earth the problem is that we are still saying we are from this earth. Jesus, the Bible says that we are seated in Christ, with, in, with Christ Jesus in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers and dominion. Ha -ha. So you are seated up there. You are, you are claiming what people on this earth are claiming. I don't know about you, but I'm not from this earth. <laughs> I'm not from here. I don't even live on this earth. I'm, I live in heaven. Yes. I'm from above. The Bible says he who is from above is above all. Hallelujah. So my point basically is know who you are. That anxiety at any means. When you know, see, I have been crucified with Christ. Galatians 2.20. It is no longer I that live, but Christ that live. The life that I now live in the flesh, I live by faith. In the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. When you know who you are, no matter the temptation, it's because Jesus knew who he was that he was able to stand against Satan. When Satan came to tempt him, if you are the Son of God. He said, man shall not live by bread, but by the word of God. He knew that he's not supposed to be living by bread, but by the word of God. He said, oh, fall down. He will give you angels. He says, do not test the Lord your God, because he knew the rules of, the, of his kingdom. He knew, he knew the rules of the kingdom where he, he comes from. What are the rules? Do you know the rules guarding, guiding our kingdom? You say you're a believer, yet you go clubbing every night, rocking rocking different people and different shades and sizes of people in the club and you say you are a believer is that part is that part of our rules is that part of the kingdom curriculum is that part of what scriptures say to us that we are allowed to do if you don't follow the rules of the kingdom you will open your life up to evil spirits and they would have a field day in your life of course you can cry out to the lord because he's able to he's able to forgive us he forgives us all the time and he's able to save us but do you want to go through that process of opening your life to evil spirits, opening your life to attacks? My brother, my sister, today I want to encourage you. Go and know who you are. Learn the rules of our kingdom. Learn holiness. Learn righteousness. Seek the Lord to help you. All these things I've said, we cannot do it on our own. Ask Jesus to help us. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Without him, we are nothing. Without Jesus, we are nothing. The only reason why we can live on this earth in peace is because of Jesus. So, what am I encouraging you today to do? Seek the Lord to help you. Learn who you are. Learn the rules of our kingdom. Hallelujah. He is able to keep us as we follow him. He leads us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. So that's it. I believe that this video has blessed you today. As it has blessed you, I would encourage you to like, to share, and to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.